hey guys what's up uh this is godokas again uh, after a long time uh i'm been contributing to uh, a new project called bold.diy for a very long time i'm one of the currently one of the core, uh, core members of the project i've seen a lot of people are confused and uh, using the tool uh, and, uh, and comparing the output of this tool with bold.new and other platforms and uh, they are not very satisfied with the output of the tool so i thought uh, why not make a, a clarification video on how to use the tool properly so to get the best output so uh, i have been testing with uh, deepseek uh, reasoner uh, and uh, we can test it to other uh, providers as well and uh, so first of all few things when we test it with uh, bold.new just uh, scroll this one if i open bold.new what you will see uh make make a to do app react wind css let me just zoom it so if you see it starts with the initial file so it basically loads an initial file in the background and then it starts uh, updating the files that is only uh, needs changing so you see all these files are uh, pre downloaded and it only wrote the app.tsx which is this one to create the uh, output so we can see this is the output that we got and if i do the same thing with the bold dot bold dot diy we do the same thing with the bold dot diy uh, doesn't matter which uh, provider we are using so uh, output might be different but uh, for now i'm just ignoring the provider let's say i'm only focused on the tool Yeah, so we can see it's uh, writing package JSON, Tailwind CSS, Post CSS, and index CMS. All, all these files just writing from scratch. So this gives this is like uh, giving LLM a lot of tasks that my is not required most of the time, and uh, we have uh, it might get it might hallucinate a lot of time. So it's not uh, useful uh, when we do it this way. So there are and we also use a lot of token for that mm. uh, okay so this giving me these issues that it's writing this and that so what is the best way to uh, solve this um what we want to do here is First of all, we don't want to write index CSS, index.html, main JS, and all these things, right? So, uh, like we saw in uh, bold.new, it starts with an initial starter template. So, what we can do here, go go to the features, settings, and features, enable auto, select auto code template, go to home, put the prompt again, and wait for it. So, now what it it is doing is it's it started with a base template and now it only needs to change the files that uh, requires changing so here it's only updating the app.tsx yeah and then it's doing an npm install and then it do the start server application let's see how it looks okay so now we got a to do app at the beginning only uh, i add this uh, we have delete option testing three okay so now 
that we have a starter template it only needed to write this file and we can see it it has produced very less tokens and still it was able to perform a very better job than the this one now we have another uh, option so once we have uh, this is the output of this one right now if we go here and do a prompt enhancement wait for it This will give you a better prompt with a lot of details. Just do a send this prompt after the enhancement. Again, it will select a best starter template for you. Uh, deep seek reasoner takes some time uh, to perform any actions because it's also adding some thinking tokens if we use some other uh, llm it might be giving you a faster results okay so now we have a starter uh, template selected with initial files it's doing some thinking on all so now it started writing the app.tsx So did an install and now run dev. So now we see a much better uh, application. So here is the bold.new. I add those this one and if I see the DIY I we have an active one, those we have completed one if I do a completed one should come here and if i add a active add this is an active one and if i filter by active filter by completed filter all and now we can also do a delete so it's much better app than the uh, previous one if i still go to the previous one which is this one and see the preview of that one Even though we uh, have not enhanced the prompt, still we are able to see a lot better one which is almost comparable to the old.new but not that good. But if I now uh, compare it with the uh, pro enhanced prompt one, uh, we see uh, much comparable results with this one. yeah so that's something that i wanted to uh, showcase uh, so because it's a diy uh, the purpose of this tool is to experiment with uh, this tool and uh, tweak this to um, make it to exactly your liking and your uh, something that suits you you we are consistently adding uh, new features in the features tab which you can uh, check so, so happy hacking and happy diy Bye.